and turned it over to AM. So uh, I don't usually, I haven't run it on AM uh, for quite some time. So uh, I wasn't uh, real sure how it would do, but uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it looks real good here on the scope. So uh, I'm glad uh, you're uh, confirming that it sounds good. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's good to hear you, and, uh, oh, I did hear you earlier uh, on uh, on 20 meters. Uh, I could hear you in there, and I could catch a word now and then, but uh, not enough copy to jump in and join you, but uh, I definitely could tell you were there. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, not nearly as well as uh, 40 meters is what's doing here this evening. I... Uh, when I switched to AM, I uh, basically uh, uh, changed the uh, bias on the tubes uh, to uh, get me a little bit uh, less drive. And uh, other than that, uh, get me the uh, same amplifier that I uh, use for side band. And uh, it's a pair of uh, GU36 uh, Russian Pentos, and they're uh, just screen driven. So, uh, uh, I've been having real good luck with this amp. It, uh, it definitely uh, works very well, and uh, when I'm on site, and uh, uh, guys, it puts out legal limits very easily. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's good okay no it sounds beautiful absolutely yeah I'm I'm still making some recordings I'll be making some recordings about I want to record my modulation what it looks like here on the screen. I am careful not to, to, to make sure I don't ever uh, cut it off and I think that little clipper in there actually kind of does do its job. I know that sometimes when I've tried to make um, videos of um, oscilloscope patterns being modulated depending on I guess the sweep rate and, the, and the, how the camera is uh, is doing it, it, it sometimes comes out pretty goofy but at least I'm trying. Yeah, you, I will upload this and you will be able to, to uh, hear what it sounds like here uh, in just a little bit. I've got, <laughs> I got both of my arms, my hands contained. I'm going to have to throw throw something on the floor. No, I'm just kidding. i got to lay something down to uh, to switch it. Well, anyway, it sounds great. Now, this one right here is uh, is just high-level plate modulated, so it's slightly different, but yours is, is, is sounding uh, really, really very, very good there, Jim. Okay, so JJFWA4QGA. Four QGA uh, K0 JJF. Uh, yeah, uh, to work again. I want it. I want it to. Uh, I want to get a little bit of uh, my mercury vapor rectifiers down here at the bottom, and then up there at the modulator with those uh, uh, little four one twenty fives. I'll I'll put all these three uh, together and send it to you. And uh, there's the meter readings on the um, on the James Millen. There's that. There's that grand old R390, and the uh, finally the uh, the 310V, and I've already shown this once that I'll capture just a little bit more of I mean, it, a little bit of the modulation pattern right there. I, I do have to ask you a question though. Uh, do you um, how you say you have some capacitive hats, some six foot is that six foot in diameter capacitive hats you have on the end of the. Um, on, a, on the end of your rotatable dipole, and, and do you feed uh, your dipole uh, w w with coax and, and a ballon right at the dipole? I'm, I'm just curious uh, the, how, how you got that set up. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I do have uh, the six foot diameter uh, uh, wagon wheel like uh, uh, capacitor hat on the ends of it. Uh, basically, six spokes and a wire ring. And, uh, uh, it is uh, fed with a uh, one to one ballon uh, right at the antenna, so uh, uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, designed and uh QST magazine, I guess, from some time back. Uh, but uh, so far, I've been pretty impressed with it, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting it up on up on the tower. Uh, uh, my tower is a telescoping tower. There. Uh, to uh, build a genuine AM transmitter, so uh, you know that's something I want to get done uh, here one of these days. Uh, I got a uh, 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 let's see a Q up. Uh, oh, let's see, it's a 3500 uh, ceramic tube, uh, and 
and uh, and uh, enough parts to uh, build a modulator except for the modulation transformer. So that's something I uh, I still need to pick up, and uh, I I want to build it all too. So uh, you know, I think uh, I think uh, that's uh, that's something I'm working on slowly here, but. Uh, Anyway, yep, I was, I'm real impressed, uh, it's, it's working well, and, uh, yep, you definitely sound great, and, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing your video, and I wish I would have, uh, got my own, uh, camera, and we pulled it out here and done the same, but, uh, maybe we can do that next time. Anyway, real good to talk to you, and, uh, I, uh, I suspect, uh, well, my wife just called out here and I didn't answer the phone. I suspect that uh, I probably have the lights blinking in the house. We have uh, LED lights up and down the hall, and when I uh, when I turn the power up, and especially when I talk on AM, it uh, it makes those LED lights. Uh, she tells me it's like a strobe light in there, so uh, <laughs> that's probably why she was calling me. So anyway, David, you take care, and uh, we'll talk to you again uh, later. KZ, JJF, I'll be Bye-bye.